Time to talk baseball now, and the debate rages on and will continue for decades. Who's the greatest shortstop of all time? The regularly reserved Derek Jeter will forever talk a big game. Five World Series rings, a World Series MVP, four Silver Slugger awards, five Golden Gloves. Those are the tangible talking points. And then there's the flip and the dive. The captain's game so complete, he's also working his way up the game's hits list. Now just too shy of passing another historic shortstop for sixth on the all-time list. Hannes Wagner. The cap, the hat, and a jersey. Yeah. There you go. Well, LeBron will no longer be mentoring a young Andrew Wiggins, so the Cavs superstar took his talents to Brown's camp today, visiting with another young, impressionable rookie instead. Impressionable. I, I hope that's. I hope that's a fact. Yeah, I'm just. He, he needs to impress him. He positive does. Positive affirmation. Johnny Manziel. Let's go. Let's, yep. let's lock in. Let's lock in here. All right. We got the season ready to go. Uh, LeBron hanging out with Johnny Manziel, and apparently he also made a big impression on Coach Mike Pettin's daughter Megan. Sports Center begins right now with Cassidy Hubbard. I'm Chris Hassel. The first NFL preseason game was last night. We're going to rev that preseason machine back up on Thursday. The Cowboys take the field that night against the Chargers, and they may do so without Romo. Yeah, there's some uncertainty as to whether Romo will play in their first preseason game, but the Cowboys QB was out on the practice field today. The team taking a cautious approach. Central is tight, and that's not the only one. A lot of really good division races going on in the majors right now. In fact, all six divisions within five games entering tonight, and while Vegas and some other pundits have been giving the National League West to the Dodgers for a few weeks now, They've been unable to make any separation between themselves and those pesky giants. Well, those pesky giants, yeah, they're just two and a half games back of L.A. entering the day. On the other coast, looking to take three of four. They rejoined the NFL back in 1999. The Browns have started no less than 20 different players at quarterback. The only time the same quarterback has started all 16 games of the season was 2001. And that year, Tim Couch went seven and nine. The Browns have started four previous quarterbacks as rookies after taking them with a first round pick, but they haven't done so well. They've combined to go seven and 23 as rookies. And the Browns have drafted just one quarterback who actually won a playoff game. You remember, of course, Bernie Kosar. And he was taken in the supplemental draft, not the annual player draft. Now Bob Holtzman with the modern day Browns at camp today where Manziel took all the snaps with the starters on Monday. Brian Hoyer took them yesterday. So 